the MSD Spotlight Series, the show that covers all things MSD. I'm your host, Annabelle Barbazet. Inez, welcome to the MSD Spotlight um, interview series. So now that you're here, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Um, I'm a senior. I've been on MSD for three years. Uh, I'm one of the presidents now, and I do dramatic interpretation, which is um, basically like 10 minutes of a dramatic piece, um, usually about important societal issues, and program oral interpretation, which is 10 minutes under a topic like mine this year is um, victim blaming, and it's a bunch of different pieces woven together. So your piece for this semester is a dramatic interpretation of 4321 by Courtney C. Stevens. Um, Can you tell us about your piece and what drew you to it? Sure. Um, So it's a bit of a unique story. It's about a woman who's been in an abusive relationship with her boyfriend since high school and he is really violent with her he there's a line in the piece where she says he hits me with a plastic pipe and they go on this trip together to new york and he thinks that she's gonna leave him so he blows up a bus um and the story is basically her reconciling with the fact that she knew that he had a bomb and she's blaming herself for what he did and the fact that he thought he did it because he thought she was leaving him. All of my pieces I've really just found because I read a lot and I was reading a book with this story in it and I was really drawn to the character so I decided to cut it. So how do you fully embody a character in the way you do? I wish there was just oh like a list of things I could tell people but um, my biggest thing like the easiest thing for me is just to do an accent because I really help separate myself from the character. Just make sure that it's really clear that it's not me speaking and it's someone else speaking. And then just the more you rehearse your piece the more more that character's mannerisms are set and the less you'll, because I think if your piece isn't as memorized, you'll kind of improvise with what you know, that'll make it seem more like you as a character. So I just like to make sure my pieces are super rehearsed so I know exactly what that character is thinking and doing at every line. Focus on the issue of um, domestic violence um, against women. So what drew you to this topic? And if you have anything, say as an opportunity here to speak speak on this very important issue. I didn't really do much research on the topic until I started this piece, and I was looking for stats in my intro, and I was curious about how much domestic violence rates have changed over the pandemic, because people have been also um, locked in their houses with their abusive partners and also unable to go to places like women's shelters for help. And I found this giant spreadsheet of statistics from cities all over the U.S. There was one city in particular where the fatality rate has risen, um, I think it's gotten seven times higher Mm -hmm. and the average increase in domestic violence rates is about 7% and that's just a terrifying thing to think about. And um, it's also really important to remember that it's not just a women's issue. It happens, it's mostly perpetuated Mm -hmm. um, by men against women, but it can also happen to men and to children. Why did you first join Speech and Debate and what drives you to share stories? I think I joined Speech and Debate because I just wanted that community. I uh, I was kind of on like the outside looking in freshman year because a lot of my friends were in speech and debate and I was really intrigued and I didn't really have that big high school community. I mean I was on the Royals but there's not a lot of us so it's not a huge community. So I think that's what brought me to the activity and just culture on MSD really reinforces the fact that we're like giving a voice to the voiceless and that our voices matter and just knowing that like maybe my piece can have a little impact on a judge or on another competitor in the in a round and at least get the issue of what I'm speaking about in their heads. I have definitely found that too. Um, so with that, what are your favorite memories from MSD? And then tell us about your semester has been for you so far and what your goals are for next semester. Sure. Um, you mentioned that what my favorite memory was a couple days ago and I just was like racking my brain I couldn't think of like my absolute favorite I think it's really just the little things that I miss like hanging out with friends between tournaments and freaking out about breaks and and we still get to do these things but it's not exactly the same online as it is in person um and like any other senior this semester has been kind of rough like balancing college apps with the whole pandemic thing and not being able to see my friends but I've really been able to kind of put my pieces on the back burner and really help the rest of the team Um, both with like logistical stuff and doing sessions with the newer members, which is awesome. And I love doing that. And I think my goals for next semester is obviously I want the team to win state for the fifth time. Um, I want to call state, obviously, but I also really just want to help everyone and just make sure everyone has the best experience possible. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Inez. It was great to have you here. Um, Thank you for having me.
yeah, I can't wait to see what else you do. So bye. Thank you. Bye.